Most of our choices are limited by higher powers. The boring layouts that they give us are all we know because we never create our own, because it's too much effort to step out of line and to be original. We're too afraid to be different. So in this video, we're going to rebel against the norm, at least by computer desktop standards. I'm going to show you how to add custom themes to Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Ubuntu Linux. So get on your creative hat, because here we go. First of all, we're going to start with Windows XP. Just right click on the desktop and go to properties and first just save your current theme by clicking on save as and then click OK. Also as another safety precaution we're going to back up, um, we're going to set a system restore point. So go to start, all programs, accessories, system restore and then select to create a restore point and then click next, type in a name for it and click create. And then you can just close out of that. So if anything goes wrong, we have something to revert back to. All right, now just open up a web browser and the first thing you want to download is UX Theme Multi-Patcher. So just do a Google search for that and click on the first result and it should give you a download link. And then just download and save that to your computer. And once it's through, launch the program, click Patch, click OK, and then click OK again and it's gonna have you restart your system. And once it restarts, uh, just click on Start, go to My Computer, go to your C drive, and then the Windows folder. You want to go to the Resources and then Themes folder. And this is where we're going to put any new themes that we download. And the best place to find themes is a website called DeviantArt.com. And once you go to their website, just click on the Customization option, and then Skins and Themes, Windows Utilities, and Visual Styles and you can download tons of different visual styles for Windows XP from here. So uh, once you find one, just click download and uh, extract that to your themes folder that I just showed you uh, under the C drive, Windows resources, and then themes. And then just click finish and it should automatically extract it to the themes folder. And once you go into that, you'll notice that there's a bunch of different folders. There's one, or at least on some themes, there's one for fonts. So what I'm doing is I'm copying all those fonts to the Windows fonts folder so that uh, it matches the theme. Now I've gone back into the theme that I downloaded and there's uh, a visual styles folder. I'm going to open that and double click on it and click apply and OK and that will implement the visual styles as you can see. And then the last thing I'm going to do is it has a wallpaper folder. I'm just going to open that up and set the default wallpaper as the background. Now if I want to undo all this, all I got to do is right click on properties and select the theme that I saved at the beginning of this. Now we're going to move on to Windows Vista themes and the first thing that you want to do here is right click and per, uh, select personalize and then click on theme and save your current theme like we did in Windows XP so that we have something to revert back to and also we're going to set a system restore point. So click on start, right click on my computer, go to properties and click on advanced system settings, click on system protection and click create to create a system restore point. Now unlike Windows XP, it's a little bit more difficult for Vista. There's two ways to do it, a hard way and an easy way. I'm going to show you the hard way. It's using the Vista UX theme patch. If you want to do the easy way, just do a Google search for Vista Glass and it will give you an executable like the one I showed you in XP. But for the hard way, I'm going to show you this because some themes require you to do the same thing, so it's good to know. And if you open up the folder after you've downloaded it, you'll notice two versions, a 64-bit version and a 32-bit version. Most operating systems are 32-bit, so that's what I'm going to use. And you'll notice there's three DLL files in there, and we want to put these in, into the Windows System32 folder. So go into the Windows folder, and then the System32 folder, and if you scroll to the the bottom you'll notice all the DLL files and you want to, f uh, to edit these files you have to right click select properties then select the security tab and click the advanced button then click on the owner tab click edit and give yourself ownership 
select your username, and then just click edit to give yourself full permission to do whatever you want with the file. And that's very handy for other, uh, for other files as well if you don't have ownership of them. Now I'm just going to rename this version to .old so that we have a backup. And then I'm going to drag the newer patched version um, to this folder so that it replaces it. And you want to do the same thing for the other two files as well so that you have everything in the System32 folder. Alright, now the next thing that you want to do is just download a theme. So open up uh, a, a, a web browser and go to deviantart.com and then just go to the customization option in the menu and then uh, skins and themes and this time select Windows Vista utilities and visual styles and make sure that the time frame is set to all time and then uh, that will show you all the different themes available and select the theme you want and download it and this is going to be the theme that I'm downloading and you'll see why I showed you the difficult way to patch the system with this theme so uh, I just extracted all the files now I'm going to the C drive, the Windows folder, the Resources folder, and then the Themes folder. And once I open up the uh, extracted files that I downloaded, I'm going to drag the Fleur Delays, which is the name of the Theme folder, directly to the Themes folder. And now you see that there's 32-bit version and 64-bit version. I don't have a 64-bit system, so I'm going to ignore those folders. But you'll see that they have DLL, more DLL files in them. And now you know what to do with them. Just go to the System32 folder and just like we did before, give yourself ownership to the current DLL files in there um, and and then select it so that the permission you, you have full permissions to do what you want with it. Uh, modify it, write, write over it, things like that. So uh, just like we did earlier. And then I'm going to rename this again like we did earlier to .old and replace it with the newer patched version. So I'm going to do this with all the 32-bit folders, only the 32-bit folders. And uh, now I'm going to move on to the next uh, folder, which is wallpaper. Just drag that to my wallpapers. And now I'm going to go back to the themes folder, open up uh, the theme that I downloaded, and double click on the MS styles and then just click apply and OK and as you can see it's it's changed the computer's theme so now if you right click on your desktop and select personalize you can go to desktop background and select the background that goes with the theme and that's pretty much it um, now moving on to Ubuntu Linux themes these are actually very easy to install um, just open up a web browser and do, go, do a Google search for Ubuntu guide and this is going to take you to a wiki type page uh, that, that shows you how you can add eye candy to Ubuntu Linux. There's a section called Compass Fusion and it gives you a terminal command. If you just copy that command and go to Applications Accessories Terminal, paste that command in the terminal, it's going to install Compass Fusion which is uh, a really cool visual effects for Linux and unfortunately I can't give you an example of what they look like because my system doesn't support it but if you go to system preferences Compass fusion it'll show you all the different things you can do like windows wiggling uh, uh, 3d rotating desktop things like that and also if you go to system preferences emerald theme manager this is the theme manager for Compass fusion if you go back to that website it gives you a link to where you can download a whole bunch of cool themes. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.